So yes, we're back at Earl's Court again. Uh, it's June the 1st, it's 1993. Didn't win the tickets. I remember, I think we bought them on the night. We, we, we went there on the whim, hoping to you know score some cheap tickets, and we, we got some. There were, there, were, there were plenty of tickets left over. They weren't particularly cheap, but I didn't buy the full price, full fat ones. And it was for Peter Gabriel, and it was the first time that I saw Peter Gabriel. And I was, av- as a huge... Peter Gabriel fan, I was very, very excited about it. And the thing was, I'd already seen Genesis at Earl's Court, so I knew what to expect. I knew you know, what the venue was like, so it wasn't a big surprise to me. Um, and it was the Supporting the Us album. Again, oh, I love that album. You know, that album is like, it's probably my top, top, top album. The only problem was, is I've never... I, it was probably the worst. No, there may, there, may be, there may be worse gigs, but no, this is probably one of the worst gigs I went to. How so, Darren? How so? Because it was all about the energy. Uh, he was doing a kind of in-the-round um, concert. Not quite in the round, but the stage was in the auditorium floor and it consists of a circle and a square and he moved between the two and it was a bit theatrical and there was a little little tree like a spinal tap they danced around shaking the tree and um, he was playing to the people at his feet you know because there was people in the auditorium on, on you know standing surrounding this stage thing and all his energy and focus was at the people at his feet and here we are, up, up the top, looking down, looking at the top of his head, a little bald spot. I felt completely ignored. It was, I'd never been to a concert like that where all the energy was not pointed outwards. It was just kind of... It was a very strange thing. I mean, there was nothing wrong with the concert per se. There was nothing wrong with it. It sounded good. A good choice of tracks. I've got the track listed up here. Uh, started with Come Talk To Me with the phone box and it's very, you know, the bagpipes and all the drumming and it's very, very exciting start. Goes into, you know, a little bit of quiet steam into, into steam. Goes out front, frontiers, lots of marching around across the river, which was really, I love that track so much. You know, the Stuart Copeland drum version is absolutely killer. Uh, slow Marimbas, which is nice. Shaking the tree. And this little tree, uh, Blood of Eden, again, another track I love. So, and Jacinto, Shock the Monkey, oh. Washing of the Water, mm. Salisbury Hill, I've heard too many times. Digging in the Dirt, I like digging in the dirt because of the cameras. They had these little head mounted cameras and they put up their faces and it was all distorted and weird. And every member of the band had one of these. Would have cost a fortune to do. Now, you can just get one of these little mini cameras and, and, and put it on a thing on your head. It cost pennies, but I'd imagine it cost thousands and thousands of pounds to put these little cameras on their faces and it cut. And, it, and I love digging in the dirt, it's one of my favorite tracks of his. Uh, of course, the obligatory sledgehammer, Secret World, oh, fantastic! And they all get into the suitcase, don't they, and disappear into the stage. Good bit of stagecraft, but you know, when you're up, you can see that it's you know down, it looks probably much more interesting. But when you've got a slight angle, you know that it's, it's a trapdoor. <laughs> Sport the magic. I've sport the magic. Oh, Darren, you're terrible. What a terrible, terrible man you are. Um, Encore in your eyes, which is nice. And he ended the show with Biko back in those days, which is something. But yeah, I mean, it weren't a bad gig per se, but when you've got somebody just looking down at their feet and not acknowledging, you know, everybody that's around them, because again, there's all these tiers of people you know, all these floors, and he's just playing to his feet. You know, that was a bit of a, a bit of a disappointment for me. I found that a bit hard to, to, to deal with. You know, because I, you know, I was hoping that, you know, I'd see, see more. But, funny enough, the next time I saw him was ten years later, at Wembley Arena again. But more about that another time. Oh. You see what I did there? Oh, oh I'm a bit of a tease. I'm a bit of a tease, but I wonder if it was a better concert. Oh, that was uh, that was different, wasn't it? But yeah, it was my first Gabriel concert. And I was really looking forward to it. I remember I bought a couple of I got a poster, which I used to have up on my wall, and 
from the artwork from the album and I might have bought a couple of posters actually and uh, the t-shirt you know you've got the tour t-shirt spent spent a bit of money I've got the program in my box of memories and uh, yeah I mean, it was it was good but it was just I've never been to, to that kind of gig before where you know all well, the energy was displaced and put somewhere else but at least I saw it and it was a you know it was an album you know the so album is it was a special one to me and I you know maybe we should have been on the floor but oh the crowd the crowds <clears throat> I can't I can't deal with the crowds so anyway thank you for joining me thank you um, there will be another one of these along in a moment I'm sure if you tune in uh, of course I have to sell myself you can help there are links in the box below where you can give me all your money because I'm a filthy e-beggar yes I am Patreons of course get early access they get early bird accents because the early birds always get the worm but I don't want to live on worms you know what I mean it's a figure of speech yes and um, yeah and that's that really and after that there's only one more thing to say is memories <laughs> on the pavement <laughs> That was rubbish. <laughs> That's all. <laughs>